So recently I filmed a video on broad shoulders, on ways that I style them to create balanced looks. And even though I emphasized how you should embrace your shoulders in that video, I feel like I didn't talk about embracing your shoulders enough in that video. So that is what we're gonna do today. So I have a list here of certain things that I do whenever I wear anything that is exposing my shoulders. These are things that I either prefer more than others or little tips and tricks that I use whenever I am showing off my shoulders and trying to embrace my shoulders. Okay, I feel like I look really 80s today, but it's this is this is what my hair wants to do today. We're rolling with it. So strap placement is something that I also really focus on whenever I'm wearing anything that's exposing my shoulders. I recently talked about a tank top that I got from Kingsley and I just gravitate towards that tank top so much, not only because it's one of those tank tops that sucks you in all the right places and looks super flattering, but also the strap placement is perfection, in my opinion. It's super edgy, super cool, very interesting in the middle, but it also sits very perfectly in just the right spot. It draws attention to the center without taking away from your shoulders. Your shoulders are out, they're exposed, but there's just something that looks very balanced about this entire area, which I really love. And all of that is due to strap placement. Also the fact that, you know, you're, you're kind of getting cinched with this kind of tank top, which is also something that I love. You know, your shoulders do a great job at cinching your waist. But if you find something that is also, you know, a very cinching material and you pair it with the right bottoms, that also looks super flattering on our kinds of body types, you know, which are broad shoulders, inverted triangles, or inverted triangle slash hourglass mixes. So there are definitely times where I love something that is drawing attention in the middle more than others. Like an asymmetric tank versus a regular tank, sometimes I prefer the way asymmetric tanks look. The placement or the angle of the straps are making a difference, at least for me, you know, obviously, Everybody has their preference, but for me, I do feel like the slantedness of the asymmetric tanks or tops or dresses do make a difference and do look a little bit better than something that's sitting very parallel to my shoulders. So if I'm buying anything that's exposing my shoulders, I really also focus on the neckline. If the neckline is low, I prefer for it to be a scoop or something that's coming down here. I don't really wear v-necks too much. I prefer something that's scooped. If I'm wearing spaghetti straps, I'll still wear them, but I prefer a spaghetti strap that has a draping and that comes down a little lower and then comes up. There's just something about it that I think looks so flattering when I'm comparing something that is sitting very high up to something that sits at a scoop or when I'm comparing a straight fit versus something, again, that's that's coming down lower here, I just think that the scoop almost always looks more flattering. Another thing that I accidentally found out the other day when I was trying on my different set active uh, active wear. I was comparing their v-neck tank with their regular tank which has regular straps as opposed to the v-neck which has one strap in the back and then it, it's kind of like more of a halter. I liked the way that that one looked better and I think it's because of again you know it's it's that v cut or more of an exposure that dips here in the middle and then comes up. So they both look good, but if we're being nitpicky and we're comparing two things, one, in my opinion, looks a little bit better than the other. And just wanna emphasize that everything that I'm talking about in this video, whether I'm saying one looks better than the other, I wear and style my clothes both ways. It's just that if we're comparing the two, there's one that I think looks a little bit more flattering on me 
sometimes than the other. I love off the shoulder tops. I think that they're some of the most flattering, feminine looking, elegant looking, stunning tops. But if, again, if we're comparing one or the other, there are certain off the shoulder tops that I think look a tiny bit better on me than others. So the first thing I wanna say are off the shoulder tops that aren't straight across. Again, I still wear straight across things. They're beautiful. But I think that if it kind of does this angle, it looks better. Not like a lot better, but a tiny bit better. And for example, like I love this situation right here. You see how it's kind of like a scoop. It goes up a little higher as opposed to doing this, which I still love. But if we're comparing this to this, I prefer this. <laughs> so you see how those little minor changes make a difference. So now, ever since I kind of discovered that I prefer this over straight, I go for tops that I can either manipulate or that have either like a V or more of a scoop as opposed to anything straight across. Again, I wear off the shoulder straight across things all the time. So if you wear something that's straight across, your shoulders are gonna look wide and your waist is gonna look smaller. If you kind of higher it a little bit, you're still gonna get that illusion of a smaller waist, obviously, because you're still exposing your shoulders, but it kind of looks a little bit more balanced. So they're both beautiful. I wear them both ways, but that's just the difference between the two that I thought I should mention. So I was filming a video with this same exact top this same exact outfit that I'm wearing, which is just like a high-waisted bottom in black with this top, which is by Joa Brown in black. I have the same style of outfit in white. And I noticed that with the white, my shoulders looked more broad than with the black. So that's a common sense thing, but it's funny when you have like the same exact top to compare. Obviously white, you're gonna be highlighting things. So things are going to look a little bigger. Black, you know, there's a reason why a lot of people say black slims you because it's just a darker color. So this applies to any light color and any dark color. Again, I wear both colors all the time, but that's just something that I noticed, especially with like off the shoulder things, dark versus light colors do make a little bit of a difference. I'm pretty sure that I cover this in almost every video that I do, but it's for a good reason. It's just something that I realized personally works a little better for me. The length of tops. So if I'm wearing anything that is showing my shoulders off or off the shoulder, I usually love the way that cropped pieces look. I think that drawing attention to the center of my body, especially if I'm wearing pants that balloon out, is very, very flattering. It creates a more balanced look or something that I prefer for myself. So yeah, whenever I am purchasing something that is really exposing my shoulders or is off the shoulder, I usually prefer for it to be a little bit more cropped so that I get that division and it also adds that dimension to my outfit. I just really have learned how to appreciate cropped pieces. So yeah, not everybody's cup of tea. I know that not everyone is into cropped pieces, which is fine, but this is just something that I noticed. So whether it's pants that balloon out, an A-line skirt, or shorts that balloon out, anything that is kind of cinching you at the waist and ballooning out, I talked about this in my last video, it is going to balance out any outfit, but especially one where you're showing your shoulders off. Obviously, you don't have to do this, and this is more catered to inverted triangle or inverted triangle slash hourglass body types. I think that it creates a more balanced look. So anything that is cinching me at the waist and ballooning out allows me to wear 
everything that I talked about in this video plus more. Like I love scarf tops. I love just little straight across bandeau tops. You're going to look broad. Your shoulders are going to be highlighted. They're going to be emphasized, but who cares? You know, if you figure out ways to balance out the rest of your outfit, you can wear whatever you want. And you don't even have to figure out ways to balance out the rest of your outfit. Again, this is just what I like to do and what I prefer on my own body. So experiment, trial and error, just test things out on yourself. And I promise you that that is the best way to find what works for you and your specific body. You know, regardless of what you hear online or what anybody tells you or what I tell you, the best way to know what's gonna work for you is to try it out yourself. So that's it, that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.